Welcome back to an episode of Famous Reality TV. And today I'm coming to you all to speak about this hot mess that's still going on months after Baddies ATL has ended between Natalie Nunn and Sarah Oliver. Now, on a recent video, I think I had alluded to saying that Sarah Oliver seems to be a bit obsessed with Natalie Nunn. And I'm still standing true to that, despite some of her fans' um, different opinions. But... Of course, you know that uh, Sarah did not come to the re re reunion and instead put on her own reunion on Instagram TV. Now, you know, she had a lot to do with the show, um, the conversation, and then they was going to start doing an OnlyFans with Natalie, Shannon, Rocky, her, and a couple of the other girls, Jada. And so um, I guess that fell out. It didn't come well together. The girls was getting like drunk. And all of that sloppy drunk and different stuff like that. You could pretty much see that in the conversation. So they ended up not having Rocky and Shannon and Jada to come on to Baddies ATL. It was only Natalie and Sarah. So, of course, uh, Sarah had said stuff to the girls about why, you know, they weren't going to be included on the show. Natalie didn't want them there and stuff like that. So, you know, they was mad at Natalie. So, like a month or two ago, you know, they all went on these um instagram live i would guess you can say stampede basically putting out all kind of information in lives and videos and stuff about natalie and tanisha um not so much about zeus network but more so about baby's atl as a whole and now those girls have actually turned on sarah oliver sarah oliver has reminded me so much of cruella the veal or the devil wears prada within these last months that she is so engulfed in hatred towards Natalie Nunn that it is ridiculous. Because nobody should get you to a point that everything that you stir out is negative trying to take this person down. I'm trying to figure out like when is it going to end, when is it going to stop. But now of course she is releasing all these chapters and information and videos and stuff she has from their OnlyFans onto her OnlyFans. So she's making money off of it. And based on some of the analytics she posted from Instagram, it looks as though she may have made a million dollars off of the stuff she was putting out on her Instagram after Baddie's ATL reunion aired. I don't know how true that is, but I did the math based off of what she showed. But who knows what she's making right now on her OnlyFans. Now, um, as I stated, she's still talking about Natalie Nunn and, and what she does and what her husband doesn't know about and stuff like that. But I can't really understand because Sarah has a OnlyFans herself where she's almost butt naked. If she's not butt naked on OnlyFans, I don't know because I don't have a membership. But just based off of her IG pictures alone, legs wide open and things of that nature, how are you any better than anybody? And don't nobody know her body count and what she was doing prior to having this man that she's with now today so because she was actually going around being a snoop taking pictures and videos and all this stuff of everybody of course she can build up stuff from everybody but she don't tell too much of her own business and stuff like that so they really didn't have anything to go off of they are the one she's the one that you know they all came to she was kind of the middleman and keeping the mess ears up so Recently, she did um, like a chapter, I guess it's like a little short chapter, a little IG video. And um, I guess she was trying to discredit Natalie Nunn by saying, you know, what somebody was supposed to have slept with people um, during the OnlyFans airing and stuff that they were doing. And at first, I could have swore that she was saying months ago that it was Jada and stuff like that. But on this video that I am going to upload, you all are going to actually see Sarah kind of... Um, what do you say? She's trying to make Jada dig in the trash can, but she's doing it so nonchalantly. I'm pretty sure uh, Sarah had already seen those condoms. And on this video, you can see when Jada was over there by those bags. And it looked like the video cut off for a second. And then it appeared bag. And now all of a sudden, Jada is right here in this uh, brown paper bag. So did she bring that bag over there specifically for her to look in there or what? I don't know. But I know she made a statement like, remember I was asking, was that your makeup bag? Was that your makeup bag? You know, that's just to throw in psychology to throw people off. Like, this is natural that I was asking her what that hurts. Like, cut it out. You guided her to that because you wanted that to be seen, which is why you were saying, is that yours? Oh, it's not mine, so it must be this person and stuff like that. So, 
I just think it's just a whole bunch of low down dirty stuff going on and anybody with a heart and a good mind um can see that Sarah is like Satan when it comes to trying to get even with Natalie. I think it's past the point of her trying to get revenge to more so like I say now she's making a profit off of it. So Shannon and Rocky are not even cool with her anymore and Jada allegedly dropped uh, her address also show some pictures of her house and stuff like that um natalie i mean sarah she has done things like that i don't know if she's personally dropped anybody's phone number um house pictures and stuff like that but she's told so much information people can put one and one together and make two so on this video as i said you're going to see sarah oliver basically coaching and, and guiding uh jada into the trash can while she grossly picks up condoms but she don't touch them of course she used a fork or whatever the case but i don't know what they pick these condoms up for and what they're going to do with them and why was sarah oliver saying oh well, it could be fingerprints on the rappers make sure you get them like she got it this girl to get all up in there to the bottom to make sure she got all of the rappers okay now what are you going to match the fingerprints to if there are fingerprints on the condom wrappers like, that's too serious. Who cares? You're going to go through all of that to prove that this belonged to a certain person. And where are you going to get any of their DNA from or their fingerprints to match this through? Those lawyer plans. Now, allegedly, she says that her ex-boyfriend she's still cool with, which is a lawyer, who she's getting all of this information from, I guess, to kind of um, minimize Natalie's shine or her image or whatever. So, um, she really needs to quit speaking with these lawyers because they have her out here looking just crazy. And they're not doing no kind of lawyer work anyway. This is just straight drama and stuff like that. This is just a hot mess. Like, it's not even entertaining to me anymore. And as far as Natalie goes, the girl has an OnlyFans. I've seen um, a lot of photos that someone had released on a certain site of Natalie. I'm pretty sure her husband is fully aware of her. Uh, and the pictures and stuff that she takes, anything else that she does, I'm pretty sure that um, he is aware of it. Now, who are you to pick on somebody and try to make them say, oh, yeah, I do this, oh, yeah, I do that, or, yeah, he know about this, or he da-da-da-da. Why are you so much in other people's business? You're not on the show anymore. Why don't you just move on with your life? Like, how long can you eat off of Natalie Nunn? Because for you to be talking about how broke this woman is and, um saying that she said that she was going to buy five cars we haven't seen any of them yet and da, da, da. why are you in competition with this woman i don't get it if your life is so good your house is so nice your pool your garden all that go live in that how long is sarah oliver going to continue to use natalie rocky jada and um sarah not sarah um what's her name shannon lightning to make money which i feel like um i hope they're getting a portion of their only fans money because for somebody just to be making all of the money and you're using people videos and this was something you all were doing in the beginning i don't care if it was a contract or not i don't feel like that's right for her to just be making no no money like this and they're not getting a piece of it uh you're making money based on other people's likeness those people are brands i'm sure natalie nunn probably had enough sense to you know make herself a brand however she copyrighted or trademark whatever but that's not cool so what do you all think about this i'm gonna go ahead and drop this video let me know at the end in the comment section um what do you think about the limits and the height that sarah oliver is continuing to go to months after this show has ended and what do you think about shannon and rocky and jada now trading on Sarah because they have realized how evil she really is because she does not understand so she told Rocky them like to stay out of it like you don't have anything to do with it but you're dropping material that shows them in a certain light because they was drunk in the house um as I stated we have Jada digging in a trash can for condoms and who all knows what else is being dropped on their only fans so you just can't tell a person to stay out of it because these people are unfortunately collateral damage and whatever makes them look bad you could have chose as a person to not put that stuff out but you can claim that oh, i didn't put out everything i've been saving your image like you're who the hell are you god sarah princess sarah because definitely not a queen queen don't do those these type of things 
So you're not saving nobody. Like their their uh public image is in your hand. You don't hold no power like that. Me personally, I wouldn't care what you're putting out. But you can't be calling people your friends that are acting like you mess with them and you're doing stuff like that. That shows them in any any light, negative light, because you want to really get this person, but they calling the crossfire. So don't worry about it though, y'all. Just just stay quiet. Even though I'm tarnishing your image, I'm really coming for Natalie. Like you sound stupid. So Again, let me know what y'all think about this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all comment for sure. Let me know what y'all think about this. Because this is a hot mess. And also, go back and look at one of my videos. I believe it's titled, uh, Rocky Goes After Tanisha Cummins or something like that. I'm going to make sure I tag it at the end of this video for you all. And um, I'll be sure to come back and update you all on the next happenings with this situation i really tried not to follow uh too much of this drama because the show is not on right now and i'm really like over sarah talking about the same things over and over so um rocky you know and shannon feel like they don't even know why uh sarah has an issue with them at this point of course they have every right to say something to her if something is not looking right or making them look bad in a certain kind of way she should understand that but she's like, um, they were saying that they was waiting on some type of footage that can show what wrong they did to Sarah because allegedly they did nothing to her. So, guess we'll have to wait to see. Again, like, comment, and subscribe to Famous Reality TV. Laundry, just trash everywhere. But, Jada and I, my new friend, we're taking trash out. Yeah, we're literally Natalie, taking the trash. We're gonna take all the trash out, bitch. Well, a lot of the trash is already out. We're gonna take up more trash. Well, the trash is not here tonight. It's a lot of trash. Ew, it's like it's a soap. Ew. It's stink. dripping like beer and shit. And it stinks. A lot of trash. What is this? Is that yours? There's no cum in here. Can we just talk about that? That's not mine. Is that yours? That was boring. That's hey, wait. Remember the makeup thing? I was like, is this yours? Is this yours? Whack. Is that yours, Data? No. Okay, it's not mine either. No, it's not. And it sounds like a sad night because there's no cum in it. Okay, it's going in there. But wait. There's more. There's more. There can't be more. Dude, there's not more. It's hard to get. Okay. How did you even find that? Why were you digging for your lip gloss in a it's trash so bag? We literally took all this trash out. And Jay's like, why are there condoms in here? Well, I mean, I know we get it in. People get it in, but not, I don't know, this. Wait, can't get it. It's like a little slippery fish. Ew. Don't let it touch my hand. I would never. Two? How many is there? Like five? How many are there? No, that's it. But there might be fingerprints on this. Oh, yeah, there would be fingerprints on that. I don't know if we can get the fingerprints of someone else. I mean, if they have a criminal record, yes, you can. There you go, bye. Is that, there's only one? There should be two. There might be another bathroom. There's got to be two, because if there's two, that. Turn your light on your other camera. I think it's... I found my picture in the trash when you threw my picture in the trash. Oh my god. Wait, Sarah. pick that bag up. I know I saw it a second ago. I just saw it, Jada. No, I saw it. I know, I think. Okay, hold on. It might have been stuck on that or this. This was in there. There it it's is. Right there it is. There. That is it. It's a different brand. No. It's Shojin. It's Trojan. So we are <laughs> diverse. We have Trojan and Magnum. God damn it. A fork was the worst thing. We should have got two forks. I made it like chopsticks. I should have just got a tweezer. Oh, come on. Come on? There's no cum in it. What do you mean, come on? <laughs> Nobody came. Two condoms, no nut. <laughs> Sounds like a sad ass night. Sad pussy. Who are you gonna call then? Who are you gonna big pussy bitch? Who are you gonna call and get this done with? Oh my god, people. 
I'm sending it to the lab. And what's crazy is you never found your lip gloss. I can't believe you're playing with this. No, I am not playing with this. You're getting it tested. You're getting it tested. DNA and finger.